Is that an Undertale reference, though? No. 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 Definitely not. No? It's kind of yeah. slick, though. I like it. And then, of course, Dyer, looking slick himself. See that cut? Brand new one. He looks younger and younger every time he gets yeah, a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. And he's also getting shape. I like it. I, okay. It's that mentality. He's, he's got I, a lady, I, right? I, I, so I, I, he's, he's trying does. to keep he things does. tight. He's trying to keep it clean. I respect that. I respect <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. There's some people that let go, but there's others who just not to. So. All you need is that motivation, man. That's not true. not that Dyer was ever sloppy. He oh, he have you up, seen man. that Diddy? He cut the edges. Have you seen oh, that, that Diddy? diddy. That uh, diddy. That's, that's, a <laughs> that's a sloppy Diddy. Finally <laughs> cut. Finally cut. <laughs> that's the, Precise. He's got the edge. He's got the edge. Laser precision. Going to the king one. Yeah, on Smashville. Um, Kirk got me backing off while uh, Dyer packs a banana, and Kirk getting the first hit, gets a grip. No big follow-up. Oh, that had to be a mistake. Oh. But man, those fairs. Trucked him across the stage. So, the interesting thing about Kuro, um, that's always been about him, is mm. like, he works on conversions, and if he does touch you, he should do a lot of damage. But in neutral, you'll kind of look for him going for the same things a lot of the time. So, when he plays against like, players that are extremely unfamiliar against Bayonetta. He'll a lot of times be able to like catch and kind of demolish them pretty quickly, but against players that know what to do, he'll have a much harder time getting things started. I like yeah. what you said about the conversion thing, because that's always been his strong suit. Yeah. Back when he played Sheik, he was almost Luigi a nobody too. here yeah. in CFL, but his Bayonetta just put him like an edge above the rest, you know? Yeah. And he's just been moving up the ladder and trying to get there, but it's because his conversions are so solid. And look at this, he's keeping it even right now. He's actually has the lead on yeah. Kyrie. Got him by 20%, um, a minute into the game. But yeah, like you were saying, I mean, um, Bayonetta, a, a, like almost a, um, an obvious choice for him. Like he already has the talent of going with Sheik. Let's just make the job easier. Yeah. And uh, you, you can actually kill, so <laughs> that's, that's kind of a big plus. <laughs> <laughs> So is it time that we address the, uh, hey, I get carried by a character conversation? Um, we could. I'm actually going to have to do a whole players, part. Most top players say, admittedly, hey, let's just do this. Like, they, it, nobody's really getting There's carried. There's no it's, such thing as getting line carried and by a character. I'm going to tell yeah, you that right up. Exactly. There is no such thing as Not being at all. carried by a character. You, you play a character that, you know, goes to your skill level or you, goes to, like, your this traits, what you're I guess. With. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What are your comfort you know, it just happens to be that some of the good characters and top players feel good with them and comfortable with them. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really a matter of just finding the right amplifier for your talents. Yeah. Oh, like, that's, that's sure, you can be skilled, it. but, I mean, in any hands, you, you can have a character there. But once you find that master key... Whew. Right. I want to note one thing. We saw it earlier, the first stock. Did you see when Dyer threw up the banana, then it got a grab and then up aired? The banana hit Kuro on the way down and like stopped his momentum a little bit. Uh, oh. So basically, he didn't go as far from the up throw, and you know, Dyer was nice. trying to get the down air from that. So that, that would have been sick if he got that, but regardless, it's a great idea. The frame trap mentality, which is kind of like what Dyer is really good at. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, the frame trap. I feel like all the best Diddy Kongs, that's what they have. Yeah. There we go. He slid right under. Oh, the jump cancel banana toss to slide under the uh, the afterburner kick. I'm surprised that that hitbox didn't clank with the afterburner kick at all. Like, it, it literally just went right around it. Just just kind of curled his fingers. It's like, you're, you're, you're being deleted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's surprising. Most of the time, you feel like that down angle attack has a much bigger hitbox than it does. But you just it used right to be enormous. Yeah. Oh, if, you go, if you go back to the glory days of it, <laughs> you're kind of terrified. But now, now it is, it's like a. It's, they it's won feasible. the grand opening. <laughs> the grand opening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 499 oh, store? <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, regardless, we're five taking two. Well, I, I like that. You see how he instantly slid off the ledge and then side B to get back into the yeah. advantage state? No, that's, that's definitely a good placement there. So, Trader, one thing I want to ask you, because I know you played with Bayonetta. Um, if Bayonetta does a side B into the banana, will that slow her down at all, or does she just go straight through the banana? Because, like, for example, I know when you hit, like, something physical, like, it puts her in a little bit of, like, um, hit stun because she's hitting the object. Does that happen with banana? Um, listen... I, I strictly play Bowser Jr. in this matchup. Okay. So <laughs> I know that if I side me through the banana with my cart, bro, I'm running over that junk. Okay. Yes. And this isn't Mario Kart. I'm not slipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so true. Because right, that's oh. one thing. I, that's actually an interesting thing I want to see. So one of the most common things for Bayonetta's is they'll always side me back from the ledge. And um, so 
With Duck Hunt, one of the things you can take advantage of is you place the can up on there, so when they hit that, it puts them in an extra amount of hit stun, which makes it really, really easy to punish them with an up air. Just, just any type of aerial that'll kill. So I've always kind of wondered if Diddy was able to do that with his banana. So, ooh, ooh, clean. Wow. Clean. It looked like Dyer had the upper yeah. hand by far. Like, he was reading the rolls, but then <laughs> Kuro right, takes so, one. So uh, all right. <laughs> anyway, it's a wash. Let's just <laughs> clean our hands of this. <laughs> Let's act like it was a one stock sudden game. death match. <laughs> <laughs> a minute and a half it means they have plenty of time. I don't uh, like that. I don't like that option from Kuro. He was super aggressive right off of that platform, right? Yeah. There's no reason to be that. And then just that constant defense from Dyer allowed him to get that 46%. But yeah. this is different. This is definitely an advantage state. But that was, uh, oh, you see yeah. that smash yeah, DI? That yeah, he that slipped right out of that. Now, that. That's one thing I've noticed. Dyer, without a doubt, has the best smash DI out of everyone in Smash. Um, at least in CFL that I've seen. Just every single time he gets hit by a band out of Witch Puss, he's, he's out of there. Like, they basically get no follow up or they get like one or two hits, and that's it. And you never see him like die off the top. Super unfortunate that Kuro got hit by all that percent. What happened was his controller messed up. When you try to get the grab, sometimes you'll do that reverse grab. I don't know if it's happened um, to you guys, but that's like the new controller. Sometimes when you flick yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it will input the other direction. It's the, other direction. That, it's I, the worst. I, I, I felt that a lot. I don't really get it with grabs as often. This might be like, it. Oh, oh this nah. could be it. Okay. I, I believe in Dyer's SDI too much. Okay. Yeah, Dyer does. Re he, he has strong SDI. Oh, I mean, what? So wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You said it. I'm actually surprised Dyer backed off when Pearl gave him the game. Oh. Dyer was kind of looking for a repeat performance there. And it, I, I feel like that touches on what you were saying game one, uh, uh, Wang. When um, Kuro gets into those patterns, like, Dyer can't help but try and key in on it. And. Uh, Kuro just used that to his advantage. Kuro yeah, because today. that pattern was he double rolled back, right? Mm -hmm. And then he which twist. I mean, which time? Yeah, he's like, been why would you have done stage. the third like stupid option in a row, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's getting like Dyer hits you with that stuff too. It's like you won't expect this because it seems to infantile, yeah. but it's right. not. Oh, it yeah. is next level. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Like you can get some hardcore beta. Like that, that's one thing that a lot of people have to do. It's like. Know when to use your moves safely, oh. just so you can bait out of that off on Dyer. Did you see that, like, smash DI yeah. up, though? Yeah. Yes. Like, that might have been death. Otherwise. Dyer's just always crazy insane. escape. I mean, Dyer, unfortunately, getting away with 30. I'm, just, I'm honestly really shocked by Dyer right now, because, like, he's not looking as clean as he normally does. Seems like he's actually throwing out moves before you expect them to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not, not careful about the percent that his opponent's at. You know, he, he whiffed one of the moves. He's playing pretty aggressive right now, too. Yeah. yeah. As time goes on, I feel like uh, Dyer, while, I mean, it's one-to-one -one right now, he still feels like he has the upper hand. He's slipping. I mean, he caught Witch Time in the up smash, which everyone can. So you can easily write that off. But the confidence can kind of pay against him. He really doesn't want to feel like he's in the zone yet. Yeah. And, and Funk, I know you're not around here too much, but Curl's one of those players that can throw anybody for a loop. You know how there's always one of those guys somewhere on the PR? They're like, okay, he might be number seven or something like that. But he can have those big upsets because he's just intuitive with some of the things that he does that you just you don't expect it sometimes, but sometimes it's just so good. So I want to point out, there's literally a point where Dyer ran up to Kuro, and he literally did a B-reverse peanut pop gun. In the opposite direction, right in his face. <laughs> I, was just, I was just kind of flabbergasted to see that. Uh, game two and game three, just quick reset around the same time. My goodness. <laughs> I mean, honestly, with the day, the way that Dyer's playing, I can see Kuro taking this. Like, Dyer, Dyer just looks off. Like his movement, his movement just kind of looks confusing. He doesn't look like he knows exactly when to, his time to go in. Even though Kuro, Kuro's pressing a lot of buttons, and Dyer's normally really, really good at catching that. Right. But like that was just, the point where he's he just kind of falling for everything, which I don't expect this out. Like the way that Kuro's playing, I'm just expecting him to just punish every single option, but I'm not seeing it. Well, let's point out tempo. Have you noticed how like Kuro is just so hot and cold? His neutral game has just been like very, very defensive, and then he'll just switch it up and just approach, like go super aggro all of a sudden. And I think it, that's hard to read, man. 
I mean, the other thing too that I'm noticing from Dyer is that he's getting caught in a lot of initial dashes too. So like when he's in shield and like Kuro does something, I see a, like Dyer initial dash away. So when he's in that, he's actually stuck in that momentum as well. He's not like trying to walk around, crawl a little bit and just like, kind of what I would expect to see him, like just roll, crawl, he does something, punish. Because yeah. it's not like he's not sitting with banana and shield too. Like he has his banana and his shield, he's facing him. And then there's just an initial dash of win. Like, yeah. that's, that's not dying, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like his vision is mildly clouded. I think it's, it's okay. I, I can't even co-sign that. But um, he's not stopping his shield. Go. Like, if he's going around his banana, he's turning around instantly going into attacks, which has been costing him percent. Like, yeah. in, in the last game, it, rolling into this one, he, he hasn't been um, waiting for, for Kuro to do something. He's instead trying to read. Uh, an unreadable man, like uh, <laughs> Toolback said, he, he has that that kind of kook factor that anyone can kind of get just Whoa. tossed around. Oh, good SCI. Yeah, that was great, guys. Yeah, if he got that side B, I think it would have been a stock too, because he's yeah. right at that percent where you could just jump up air. I feel like it's kind of hard. Oh, that's, oh, that's it. Out. There we go. The clutch. Yeah. Yeah, also, was... um, if you didn't notice, your answer was, uh, I mean, your question was answered in that set. Yes, I, I wasn't sure. He slid into the banana. But, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I was pretty sure he does. You do still slip, but I, I, I didn't want to say. But it was proven there. Yeah, if you side B into the banana, All you right. do oh, slip. Oh, you slip. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, I'm gonna step away. I gotta. Uh, oh, I gotta no, no, play no. Okay, okay. No, I didn't mean. Oh, good luck. You got this. I'll be back. Yeah, I I got this. We win that matchup. I last time I played him, I beat him at versus. That was the one I got ninth <laughs> at. Yeah, free. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak for me? Yeah. All right, I muted you on accident. All right. All right, you should be good. All right, am I good? Okay. Yeah, I'm you're good, good bro. Um, yeah. So no, that wasn't what I was asking though. I was asking about the aerial afterburner kick, not the, not the, not wait, the wait, grounded so version. So like, let's say there's a banana on the platform, and then banana drops from ledge, and then she afterburner kicks into 